Okay, good morning. Today we're going to do operations on radical expressions. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! When I say yay, you say math. Yay! Math! Yay! Math! When I say math, you say yay. Math! Yay! Math! Yay! I got confused a little, but I was okay. Okay, you ready to start? Watch this. Here comes the marker, here comes the problem. Okay. Who, by show of hands, and I'm going to count out loud, who knows how to handle this already? One, two, three. Okay, that's good. That's fine. The less, the better, right? <laughs> the less, the better. All right. The issue is we can't have square roots on the bottom of fractions in the denominator, so we need to finagle this so that there is no square root on the bottom. The way to do that is to multiply the top and bottom by a certain number so that this square root goes away. Any guesses about what that would be? Two. Two? So we should multiply top and bottom by two? By square root of two? Square root of two? Let's jump into it. Here's square root of two over square root of two. So what do you think? First of all, what is square root of two divided by square root of two? Essentially, one, one. It's the number one. So we're not really changing this number. We're not changing. If you multiply by one, you're not changing anything. So that's okay. We don't want to change this. We just want to alter it, right? So that it looks a little different. How do we multiply fractions? Cross. Cross. Yeah, cross the numerators and the denominators. So what is three times the square root of two? Six. Square root of six is a common thing that people say. We can multiply inside or outside and inside square roots. We can't combine them. Three square root of two. Yeah, that's all. Three times the square root of two over. What is the square root of two times the square root of two? Square root of four. What is the square root of four? Two. Two. That's the answer. That's the answer. Wait. Question, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. No. Um, Please. Why did you have to do square root of two? Because multiplying this square root of two by that square root of two essentially removed the square root because it became square root of four. And now the goal is to get no square roots on the bottom. And the denominator. Okay. All right. If you accomplish that goal, then you're fine. Okay. Um, Jeff? No, that's probably. Can you just split them and make it negative? You're talking about uh, negative exponents and stuff. There are no negative exponents here, so we can't flip anything. Okay. Well, right. Question. I see a look of question. But why do you square it? <laughs> because it's that. That is the number on the bottom. Uh, so you have to multiply it exactly what's on the bottom. Yes, you multiply the top and bottom by this number until further notice, and it's going to get more challenging. Are you ready for a challenge? Yay! Yay! Ah. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> okay. What do you multiply top and bottom by to get rid of square root of three? Yes. Square. Square of three. Excuse me. Square root of three. Square root of three. Okay. So what do we get on the top? Six rad three. Six rad three is correct. Over. Square root of nine, which is three. All right. So hopefully. How does the square root of nine three? What is the square root of nine? Three. What times what is nine? Right. Square root of 9 is 3. Hopefully, you guys, eventually you'll get to a point where when you see square root of 3 times itself is just 3. Just like here. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. All right? It's actually performing the, the logic behind square roots. Is it always like that? Yes. Square root of x times square root of x is x. Cube root of x times cube root of x times cube root of x is x. So hopefully right. that, that's some good question. Um, did, you, you just, did you skip the step where you actually write? Square, square root of 9. Yes, I did. I did. That was intentional. Right? Square root of 3 times square root of 3. You multiply underneath the square roots together. Square root of 9 in your mind, what is it? 3. 3. So, yeah. 
Is this done? Is this simplified? Six and three. So six over three cancels to what? So it's two, 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 two. two. square root three. So this becomes so two rad three over one. So two rad three over one is uh, two rad three. We can we can reduce. We can leave off. So two rad three. In other words, six divided by square root of three reduces to two rad three. Okay. That's all it is. Math. Yay math it is. All right, we're going to do a few math. more. They're going to increase in complexity. I want you to start thinking in your mind. Compare moment one with moment 23 or something and see how much you've picked up. Rather right? than thinking in what? Rather than thinking maybe how it's hard, oh, think yeah. about like how much you're gaining. Ah, yes. Think about that one. Ah, yes. The philosopher. <laughs> ah, yes. All right, let's start with this now. Um, 28, a squared, b to the 3, c to the 5, okay, so we're upping the ante, if you will, 